Hey guys, this is Patrick from STH. Today, we're gonna to show you how we manage to set a new world record and absolutely crush the Geekbench 4 multi-core results. After we set the Cinebench R15 and R20 world records, Geekbench was one item that we kept getting requests to go do, and we had a couple minutes just before the holiday weekend to go and set the system back to Windows and run the dual AMD Epic 7742s in Geekbench. So we fired up Geekbench and frankly, it went really poorly. We contacted Primate Labs about this and we were told that it's a Windows uh, memory allocator issue and numeral awareness issue. And so that's why you see most of the large, highly threaded systems and multi CPU systems not use Windows. Our hopes of setting an official world record were dashed, but you know what? Geekbench has its own browser. So we said, why don't we just go set the highest one on Geekbench, change our metrics a little bit and see if we still get a world record. So we ran Geekbench in Linux as it was suggested, and all of a sudden we got a lot better results. In fact, our results were almost five times better than our original results in Windows, which seems more in line with what we would expect. The score of over 193,000 on the multi-core benchmark was exceptional. When we compared this result to other results that were already on the Geekbench browser, the highest systems we saw were quad, Intel's the M Platinum 8180M, which are the 28 core CPUs with the higher memory limits. And we actually ended up way further ahead. The previous world record holder was a quad Intel's the M Platinum 8180M system, which is slightly slower than the current generation Intel Platinum 8280, but they're darn close as we showed in our reviews on the main site. But it's also using four of them that are $13,000 each versus two sub $7,000 CPUs from AMD in this generation, which is a big deal. It uses less power. AMD also has PCIe Gen 4 and more PCIe bandwidth. So there's a lot of things going for the AMD platform here, even though this is Geekbench, which is a micro benchmark that nobody really uses to go and buy servers. We still thought it was an interesting result. We did want to also address the Lenovo Think System SR950 that was on the Geekbench results browser. That one used eight Intel Xeon Platinum 8168 processors, which means that it has 192 cores. And frankly, we would have expected that this system would have done a lot better. So either it's having issues with the Numo domains and Numo nodes, or this is one of those just kind of weird results that we really can't explain. But Realistically, that one should be above the dual AMD Epic 7742, but since it's not, we're gonna call ours a world record. You can check out the STH main site where we have a lot more information on the AMD Epic 7002 series, including multiple SKUs, and we're doing a lot of server reviews. And so just check the main site because we have a lot going on. Thanks for watching. You can check out more from our awesome STH team on the STH main site. We have other videos on YouTube and you can always subscribe to our channel and see whatever is coming out next.